fifth week of Easter. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Christopher Magallanes priest and companions martyrs and St. Eugene de Mazenod bishop. In this Eucharistic celebration, our Mass presider is Reverend Father Antonio Wang SVD. Please stand as we begin the Holy Mass. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In the Gospel today, Jesus told us he's not belong to this world, but he chose all of us. He facing many difficulties like us in the world. So he gave us a good example. Through this world, conquer the death to bring us the salvation. And today, I also give thanks Give thanks to God and also to my parents give me life in the world. And today we also have the martyrs. We can also ask them to pray for us so their martyrdom can inspire and also help us in this world. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who made the priest, St. Christopher Magallanes, and his companions, faithful to Christ, the King even to the point of martyrdom, grant us through their intercession that preserving in confession of the true faith, we may always hold fast to the commandments of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul reached also Derbe and Lystra, where, they, where there was a disciple named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a belie believer, but his father was a Greek. The brothers in Lystra and at Iconium spoke highly of him, and Paul wanted him to come along with him. On account of the Jews of that region, Paul had him circumcised, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they traveled from city to city, they handed on to the people for observance the decisions reached by the apostles and presbyters in Jerusalem. Day after day, the churches grew stronger in faith and increased in number. 
They traveled through the Fyrdjan and Galatian territory because they have been prevented by the Holy Spirit from preaching the message in the province of Asia. When they came to Misha, they tried to go on into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So they crossed through Misha and came down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision. A Macedonian stood before him and implored him with these words, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we sought passage to Macedonia at once, concluding that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are, his people, the flock he tends. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is good, his kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. We honor the Holy Gospel. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, and the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you. No slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted you, persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yourselves. And they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, yesterday and also before some days, the Gospel Jesus asked us to love one another, love each other, uh, give us uh, commandments, but today, he told us we are facing the challenges, the difficulties in the world, the things in the world we are not belong to, and also the world will hate us and also persecute us if we do the things of following the world of God to follow Jesus because he was persecuted first, because we, the world cannot accept him and of course cannot accept us. But of course, he's come to save all of us, to bring us the salvation through this world. Of course, God gave us this time to 
through this lively time, even we see good or not good, but that is a gift that God gave us to through this world to prepare ourselves for the kingdom of God. And especially today we have also the, the martyrs, the priests with his companions. We see the life in the world, of course we concede it is most important, but for the faith, for Christ, for the kingdom of God, they give up their life. Or for some people, they say it's not worthy. But for them, because they have the strong faith, they have the certain hope, after the death, I will go into the kingdom of God. It is worthy. I am done my, my, my mission in the world. I had my purpose, and now I am fulfilled. So I give up, give up my life. But many times we say, oh, we want to be the martyrs. We want to offer ourselves for the kingdom of God. We want to follow Jesus. We want to do God's will. But many times, you know, the human beings uh, desires, the temptation around us always. Uh, there's many difficulties, some challenges also. And also, we are easy to fall in the temptation. Always we ask God through the uh, the prayers of our Lord ask us to not fall in the temptation to help us always protect us, guide us but because of human beings weakness also we are facing the difficulties problems oh why is me, why give me this burden I cannot carry but we can see in the early church the disciples especially the first reading how they are facing the problems they always they only following God's instructions. Oh, do not go this place. Oh, we will not go. Go that place. Even they don't understand. Even they cannot do anything. Oh, they cannot accept. Her. But for God's will, they followed. That's why we see the early church, uh, apostles, especially the apostles, they were like us, we were like them. They, were, they had the human beings' desires, human beings' problems. But when they received the Holy Spirit, they were totally changed. They only focus the kingdom of God. They know what they are doing. They know what is their purpose or their goal. So at the end, through their giving up their life, through their martyrdom, then they be the witness of Christ. They offer their life for their faith. So our faith is not just only say, I baptized or I, I attend the mass. It's related really to our deeds, our daily life to towards to the kingdom of God. So maybe we can through the readings today, we can really to let the word of God can really to come to our, our mind, our heart, to our life. Always can guide us. Let us always, all the things, difficulties or problems, through those things, to towards to the kingdom of God, through the risen Christ. Amen. Please arise. We joyously praise the Lord who raised his son from death and so assure us of eternal life. Let us ask the Lord's help in times of trial. Let, let, us, let our response be, Father, persevere us in your love. Father, preserve us in your love. That our pastors, especially the Pope and our bishops, May continue to nourish us with sound teachings. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, preserve us in your love. That those who are persecuted because of their belief in Jesus Christ may feel his sustaining power. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, preserve us in your love. That we may find joy in our faith even when we are faced with trials and distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, preserve us in your love. That those who suffer in this life, especially the sick, may be comforted by contemplating on the eternal life that Jesus offers. Let us pray for the, to the Lord. Father, preserve us in your love. We pray for all our brothers and sisters who are celebrating their birthdays today, most especially our beloved Mass Presider, Reverend Father Antonio Wang SVD. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, preserve us in your love. That the faithful departed may come to the eternal feast in God's kingdom. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Father, preserve us in your love. Let us keep silence of our personal intentions and also the intentions offered for this Mass. God our Father, you have chosen us to share your kingdom forever. Grant us strength to bear our sufferings and hardship in the knowledge that we will be raised through Jesus' saving power. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accepting com compassion, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord of God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to loud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Pascha joy, every land, every people, exalting your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper Sunday, he took the chalice, and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Jose Cardinal and Advencula, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, especially Mary Liu and Maria Sanchez, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, especially here in front of you, and also during this Mass, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most Jesus spouse, with the blessed apostles, especially St. Judas, with Anna Janssen, Joseph Freinanmans, Pedro Calonsot, as with the Maltiers, Blessed Maria Helena and Josepha, Chinese Maltiers, the 14 Holy Helpers, and also today's Maltiers, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we be married to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and all is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I gave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, you. peace be with you. Jesus Christ our Savior. He is always among us. He is the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes with the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who are unable to receive the Holy Communion, we pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Father, I pray for them that they may be one in us, so that the world may believe it. It was you who sent me. Says the Lord, Alleluia. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness that redeemed 
by the passion of your Son. They may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us proceed in Novena, ask God's protection and healing. Please all kneel. Turn to page 15. We invoke the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did teach the hearts of your faithful people by sending them the light of your Holy Spirit, grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things and evermore to rejoice in his holy comfort through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please turn to page 34, the Epistle of St. Jude, verse 25. To the only God our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, belong glory and majesty, dominion and authority, before all time, now and forever. Amen. We pray to you, O my Almighty and Eternal God, who through Jesus Christ has revealed your glory to all nations, to preserve the works of your mercy that your church, being spread through the whole world, may continue with unchanging faith in the confession of your name. We pray to you, who along are good and holy, to endow with heavenly knowledge, sincerity, and sanctity of life, our sovereign pontiff, the vicar of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the government of his church, likewise our beloved bishop, or other bishops, prelates, and the pastors of the church, and especially those who are appointed to exercise among us the function of the holy ministry and conduct your people in the ways of salvation. We pray to you, O God of might, wisdom, and justice, through whom authority is rightly administered, laws are enacted, and judgment decreed, Assist with your Holy Spirit of counsel and fortitude all world leaders that their administration may be conducted in righteousness and be eminently useful to your people over whom they preside by encouraging due respect for virtue and religion, by a faithful execution of the laws in justice and mercy, and by restraining vice and immorality. Let the light of your divine wisdom direct the deliberations of government officials, and shine forth in all proceedings and laws, frame for our rule and government, so that they may tend to the pers pers preservation of peace, the promotion of national happiness, the increase of industry, sobriety, and useful knowledge, and may perpetuate to us the blessings of equal liberty. We pray for all local government officials, judges, and magistrates, and all other officials who are appointed to guard our political welfare, that they may be enabled in that peace which the world cannot give, and that after enjoying the blessings of this life, they may be admitted to those which are eternal. Finally, we pray to you, O Lord of mercy, to remember the souls of your servants departed who are gone before us with the sign of faith and repose in the sleep of peace, the souls of our parents, relatives, and friends, the souls of those who, when living, were devotees of St. Judeus, and the souls of all benefactors who prove their claim to our grateful and charitable remembrance. To these, O Lord, and to all who rest in Christ, grant we beseech you a place of refreshment, light, and everlasting peace through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Page 37, Novena Prayers. O glorious Apostle, Saint Judas, through relative of Jesus and Mary, I salute you through the most sacred heart of Jesus. Through this heart, I praise and thank God for all the graces he has bestowed upon you. Humbly prostrate before you, I implore you through this heart 
to look down upon me with compassion. O oh, despise not my poor prayers, let not my trust be confounded. To you God has granted the privilege of aiding mankind in the most desperate cases. O oh, come to my aid, that I may praise the mercies of God. All my life I will be grateful to you, and will be your faithful client, until I can thank you in heaven. Amen. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Saint Jude, help the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Pray for us that before death we may expiate all our sins by sincere repentance and the worthy reception of the holy sacraments. Pray for us that we may appease the divine justice and obtain a favorable judgment. Pray for us that we may be admitted into the company of the blessed, to rejoice in the presence of our God forever. Most holy apostle, Saint Judeus, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered your beloved master into the hands of his enemies has caused you to be forgotten by many. But the church honors and invokes you universally as a patron of hopeless cases and of things despaired of. Pray for me who am so miserable. Make use, I implore you, of that particular privilege accorded to you to bring visible and speedy help where help is almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need that I may receive the consolations and succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings particularly. We also pray the following intentions for God's blessings on the National Shrine of St. Jude de Deus in St. Jude Catholic School, for more vocations to the priestly and religious life, for board and bar examinees, those who are taking academic and other examinations, and all our devotees and their petitions, and that I may bless God with you and all the elect forever. I promise you, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and, and I will never cease to honor you as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to you. Amen. Saint Judas, pray for us. And for all who invoke you, eight. Let us pray. O Saint Judas, relative of Jesus Christ, glorious apostle and martyr, renowned for your virtues and miracles, faithful and prompt intercessor of all who honor you and trust in you. You are a powerful patron and helper in grievous afflictions. I come to you and entreat you from the depths of my heart. Come to my aid with your powerful intercession. For you have received from God the privilege to assist with your manifest help. Those who almost despair of all hope, look down upon me. My life is a life of crosses. My days are days of tribulation. And my heart is a notion of bitterness. All my paths are strewn with thorns and scarcely one moment passes but are the witnesses of my tears and sighs, uneasiness, discouragement, mistrust and almost despair prey upon my soul. You cannot forsake me in this sad plight. I will not depart from you until you have heard me. O oh, hasten to my aid. I will be grateful to you all my life. I will honor you as my special patron. I will thank God for the graces bestowed upon you and will encourage devotion to you according to my power. Amen. Saint Judas, pray for us. And for all who invoke you, aid.
Oh my God, I firmly believe that you are really and corporally present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I adore you here present from the very depths of my heart, and I worship your sacred presence with all possible humility. O oh my soul, what joy to have Jesus Christ always with us, and to be able to speak to him heart to heart with all confidence. Grant, O oh Lord, that I, having adored your divine majesty, here on earth in this wonderful sacrament, may be able to adore you eternally in heaven. Amen. We pray the Orasha Imperata against the COVID-19 virus. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. The fourteen holy helpers, pray for us. Saint Judas, pray for us. We pray the prayer of Saint Gertrude, prayer for the souls in purgatory. Eternal Father, we offer you the most precious body and blood of your divine Son Jesus in union with the Masses offered throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in our homes and within our families, in Jesus' name, Amen. We pray for the intentions of the Holy Father. Together with our personal intentions, through the constant intercession of our beloved patron of hope, Saint Judeus, we all pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us all trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
given them bread from heaven. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O oh God, who in this wonderful sacrament left us a memory of your passion, grant we implore you that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, as always to be conscious of the fruit of your redemption, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed, Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Page 43, Blessed Parents in the intercession of his holy apostle, to the Deus and all his saints, show them favor and mercy. Amen. Blessing of religious articles, please raise them. Lord, show us your mercy and the love. And grant us your salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Dearly beloved brothers and sisters, let us pray to God Almighty Father that we may be transformed into Christ's image through the devout use of these signs as aids to prayer. May the Lord in his love and mercy cherish and reinforce with his blessings the tokens of your devotion and piety, so that you may take up the course of the present life without offending anybody. You may attain eternal life with joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
Thank you very much and God bless you always. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs>